All right, day two. Woohoo! Day is Panda Day. Head into the National Zoo. If we get finished with there in a reasonable time, we might head to some of the other um, museums, but today is Panda Day. Much to the dismay of my child. Oh, you're putting words in my mouth. Mm -hmm. She's not dismaying. She just doesn't want to be there quite as long as I may be there. So, just sitting at the pandas. Just sitting at the pandas. We're going to be flexible. That's... Dad said there's a lot of animals at that zoo, though. We're going to be good. Big zoo, man. Dad and I are going to be hanging up on There's there. seals and sea oh, lions. I mean, oh, I do want to see them. Too. I can just sit and watch those all day. <laughs> those are entertaining. Today's all about the animals. We need to find out what today's national day is since we had ice cream yesterday for national day. The day before that was French fry day. We didn't catch that till yesterday, so we ate those yesterday too. So we're gonna find out what national food is today. Bread first. This is the place we saw yesterday. Just up there talking about how Allison's Allison Allison's her brain get brain exploding. Yeah. Checked out, got our coffee, head to the zoo. So I got the sunshine latte and it's lemon, mint, and rosemary. And it's very good. So is, it, is it like refreshing? Yeah, very floral. Is it sweet? Not overly sweet. I mean, it's not like bitter. Black. If you like lavender lattes, you'll like it. Oh, okay. So if you like lavender, you Look how amazing this neighborhood is. I'm gonna flip the camera. This is just apartments around the front side of where we were. And then out here, well, I'll get a better one when we go around the corner. So there's our bakery like, right I there. I know. And then here's the street that we stayed on. It's not a city, like, but it's still a very busy, like, neighborhood. It's, it's so anyway, a little further down the road. Oh, and there's the Starbucks she told us about. This place was way much better. Oh, University of District of Columbia. So nice, so nice. Those are luxury apartments. I wish I could have seen the name so I could look up in it. All right, we just parked. We are heading to the entrance. I we're already seeing animals, so I don't think we're in, but um, we are just seeing things as we pass. First stop. 
Well, it's not going to be the first stop. So we get sidetracked over like squirrel. We're on the Asia Trail and we see some bamboo. I might cry. She's very smart. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, flipped. He got out. He got out. He got out. Here is her research. They say behavior research. I bet you this is just security. So this guy is still sleeping. So, this one is back in that room sleeping. That was the first one. He still snoozes on his rock. And he's laying behind a rock, looking like he's puking. But everybody's sleeping now. Well, you know, I gotta go shop it in here. He's a very social guy. He's always been that way. He's always lived with females. So it's it's pretty normal. I think that's a big fat beaver butt. Oh yeah. Oh, he really wants over there so bad. That poor boy. I know, he's so cute. Up. Oh. Chair. 
get it cold over here. Look at those colors, they're so pretty. He actually looks like an healthy bag. Did you get a picture over here? Oh, there's the bird. He's amazing. Glass? He's like silk. That is so beautiful. I said he looks like an LV bag. He does. Yeah, the, the spots on them are gorgeous. He is beautiful. I love this room. Oh, I hope the bird don't swoop down on me. Or is that just a female and the other one a male? No, that's a female. That's a female back Oh, yeah. So cute. You little goose goose. You little goose goose. I just ran all the way to the pandas. All the way there. Because I thought I saw them. I saw them on the cam, the live cam. And I went back to go sit and watch them. Were you, were you helping me, Bill? I was helping you, yes. Okay. Um, and I got all the way over there, and it was false advertising. So I had to walk all the way back to where they were, and now I'm hot and tired. Yeah, I like them. Guinea pigs. Yeah, they got their own little noodles. Oh, wow, they have the fan. That's nice. Okay, there's not a lot funnier than alpacas laying in front of a fan. That is too cute. These poor cows are not enjoying the fan. But there's not flies over here. They need to come over here and bump those alpacas out the way so they don't have to deal with those flies. Look at this guy. Oh, yeah. I had all mine out by He flipped. Oh, he's giving me a little snarl, isn't he? He must have just eaten. Yeah, he doesn't like something. Baby! He's still got roadkill back over here. Yeah. <laughs> we found a dinosaur. I feel like we've got a picture in front of this in the pouring rain. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. What's the book? The book brings a dinosaur to life. The enormous egg. And then it says the film based on that is where this came from. That's fun. 
All right, this is a $12 espresso milkshake. It is really pretty, but it was $12, and I did not know until after we paid for it, but I'm okay. I'm okay. It's all for the animals. These chipmunks. I feel like we need to get some food out and see if they'll come up to me. Peekaboo! Oh my gosh. He was completely under there. He's a funny guy. Oh, he's covering back up. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? So, we just lost our Komodo dragon at the uh, Cincinnati Zoo. His name was Hudo. He was 20. He's the same age as Fran. Um, and he was my youngest daughter's spirit animal. So, actually not spirit animal, but she really, favorite. really, favorite, yeah. She really, really loved Hudo. Always had to stop in and see him, would run by herself to go see him. So she took his passing pretty hard. It was a shock, because we didn't know he was sick. So, um, it's nice to get to see a moto here, but it'll be the last one we see in a while. Because, you know, we're not going to have access to one anymore. So this guy's got his own little habitat. He must be spicy. We had one of those big snapping turtles too and it passed away years ago. Man, we're just like nostalgiing out here with all these animals that we used to have that we don't anymore. Where are we headed now? We're not headed anywhere new. Nothing to something new? No, nothing new. Nothing something new. Be lady. There's a what? <laughs> There's a new gorilla baby. Uh-oh, it's something you. All right, here is a mom and her three babies. Mom doesn't have a back leg. She's only got three legs. She helps us along fine though. But she also does it chasing these three babies. They're hilarious. It's not the mom because they were just nursing on that one, wasn't it? No, oh, they were trying to and couldn't. Maybe. Maybe it's dad. Oh, okay, that's dad. Maybe that's mom up there. Yeah. Now they're like, oh yeah, dad wasn't helpful. We want mom. That's about right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Family. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is as nerve wracking as watching real babies. Oh. <laughs> 
I think we're stressing her out. This guy is this guy. It's in my grande, right? He's in a Thank 
Ours built. That's a cool from the sun. I get stuck on my I know a lot about it. Alright, we are in the new aviary building. Lots of pictures of birds. <laughs> yeah, right. Lots of pictures of birds. Ooh, and here's where you go. Like, yeah, we got just enclosed in something. Hmm. Yeah, they're like little spares. Let's get in. Who wants to get in? What kind of owl are we looking at here? So this is an Asian brown wood owl. She's a baby, just four months old. <gasps> yeah, she so started from pretty. the size of a chicken egg. In the last four months, she's been growing a lot, but her feathers are still taking their time to molt. So these feathers uh -huh. on her head are her down feathers, her baby feathers. Yeah, come over to my right side. I can pose her for you. She's so pretty. And this concludes our time in the bird section. We are back around. Well, we just went back and saw the pandas one last time. They had come full circle. The same one that was eating the bamboo at the beginning of the day was eating his bamboo in the same, same spot, spot at the yeah. end of the day. The one in the middle was still laying over his rock on his belly and the one on the end was still back in his cubby. So at 9.30 and at 3.30, they looked the same. Um, so we didn't get more video, but we got all my panda stuff and now we're gonna head out of the zoo. It's hard to say goodbye to the pandas because I will not ever see them again. They really leave in October, but at least I got to see them my last time. And We'll still go to Atlanta for a little bit, hopefully, maybe, and see them there. Heading out. This felt like it was worthy of video. Stretch limo, duct taped. It looked good. Allie's car made it to Washington for us.
right, we are down here in the middle of all the museums. Franny just changed in the car. I'm eating some apples. Bill's paying for the car's parking at his fine, fine parking job. Hey man, that guy gave me a Oh, we heard the guy gave him a compliment about how good he did. I'm like, his head's going to be. We're in the American History Museum. Going to see some pop culture stuff. Sorry, I'm munching on apples. Oh yeah, I remember here. I remember when we were here last time. Good. All right, what we were looking at over there that the gentleman was talking about is the original Ruby Slippers. I guess that was a tour we were near, but anyway. They started out silver, but they were in Technicolor, so they really wanted them to be bright, so they changed them to Ruby. But originally, they were silver. Feet are so tiny. I know, right? And then these were original Muppets, he said. Yeah. Wow. Kermit became the most famous frog. Why didn't you see that one down there? Kermit's own blue jeans. Isn't that crazy? Hi, hi, Kevin. She's so funny. Oh, that's awesome. An alien. And everybody knows what that is. Jurassic Park. And Sarah Hansen. She was tiny. But most importantly, Chris Evans touched that. And so did Sebastian Stan because it's from the <gasps> soldier. Oh, and so did Sebastian Stan. My two of my husbands that don't know exist, but I wish they did. This dress was Eleanor Roosevelt. There's Nancy Reagan. Uh, Lou Hoover. So this floral one back here is Jackie Kennedy. Sorry, this video sucks. Those are pretty gowns. So the blue is 
Hillary's. The red is Laura Bush. This white is Michelle Obama's. And that one is Trump's. These are gorgeous. Or is it something new? <coughs> Phil hasn't been here. Wait, I think I mentioned this. He hasn't been here since the kids were really little and he's doing a lot of reminiscing now of, oh yeah, we did this and oh yeah, oh yeah, we saw that. The girls and I have been here a few times since then, but he's nostalgia being out. It's a really nice view. But then John Elliott. Who is he? He's a. I don't know why I know who that is. I know I don't either. We should have listened more in history class. I should. I should say I should. <laughs> He does look angry, doesn't he? And this guy here, he's at the end of his rope. This is a beautiful courtyard. Oh, look at that. That's fun. Except the kid running through it. This is America's Presidents. Good old George. Here's some Abe. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I've not seen that. He's like a face in the dock. Einstein. This is very sinister. Is this like a. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, never mind. I like these. They're pretty. So pretty. We could skip sports legends completely. This is Julie Gordon. Oh, I'll be dang. That is so awesome. Yeah. They went to the top floor. I couldn't make it. Oh, okay. So we're in Chinatown. Uh, Everything is in. Uh, What's the name of the place? Revolving Sushi. Oh, that's just the name? That is the name. Huh. 
but that's not where we're going. That's a cool little entryway. I'm really ready for a beer, TBH. We've had a long day, and beers are good on a long day, long hot day. So we are trying to find, yeah, there's a time in Chicago. We're trying, we are trying to find a place called Revolving Sushi. It's honestly dinner time, so it's probably way too hot, so we're probably not even going to be able to eat there, but we're going to go see. Okay, I feel like we're at Epcot, NGL. Like it just like lightning and it was there. But didn't you just order something else? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be ready when it dings. It comes fast. I know, but how can I be ready? Is it delicious? Who's the first one I have with Isn't it the same thing we get in the grocery store? No, huh. We've gotten it before. Okay, okay. It just went. This whole experience. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Oh, no more rolls. I want a Philly roll, but they're already gone. Huh? Because this is way more fun. This is why we're here. Like, sitting over there, I bet you don't even get to eat. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff over there. They have their own... Who's that? What's that? I don't know what that is. I'm not eating that. Look at all these empty pans going by. Look at all these empty pans already over there. Her food just slid down. It slides so fast. What is that? It's a... What is going on there? That's spicy. <laughs> Not one of them? Oh. Hopefully it says your dinner's free. Is it stickers? Puppy stickers? Nice. Is that what we were working towards? Puppy stickers. Awesome. Getting good help is hard to find. This is how far we had to go to get our pickup. This lady is feeding the pigeons. Oh, oh. And I just opened my door and they just like fluttered. Don't hit the pigeons. Vlog update. It's been a long time since I have updated anything. We had a two and a half to three hour ride over here. It was an insane ride. People were driving like mad people going like 80 and 90, just like zooming around us. They would drive on the shoulder going like 80 miles an hour. 
going around traffic. Like, I felt like I was on the Audubon. I know not really, it wasn't, but it was scary. Sometimes they would just like zoom by us and I would just like jump. Zoom. Zoom. Look at. <laughs> crazy, crazy craze over there. <laughs> angry, angry girl. Angry, Mom, I look so ugly. <laughs> angry spice. Anyway, so I'm um, just like, Franny jumped in the shower after I got out. And I was just like, oh, I put all your stuff back in your cooler. Your oh, stuff in your little sure. cooler. I went through the cooler, put stuff in the fridge, and I was like cleaning stuff out. And I saw that I missed a call from Allie. And I'm like, oh, I better go check and see what it is. I get it. Her flight tomorrow has been canceled. Her flight was at 10, 45? Yes. And it was canceled at 10 p.m. at night. So she is in a complete set of panic. They were out bowling or something. She wasn't even back in the room. I know. So we were scrambling. I mean, like, she's stuck in Grand Rapids, Michigan without her family. You know what I'm saying? And, like, she's trying to get to New York. And, yeah, I mean, I'd be panicking. Um, Because they, oh, they put her on a flight two days from now. They rescheduled her flight for two days from now. So, um, I started getting on Expedia to just try to find different flights. I found two flights going out of American tomorrow to LaGuardia that we would have to rebook on a different, because it's a different airline. She's on United now. But we have found a United for 6 a.m. that they ticketed her for. She went in and switched it, but she doesn't have a seat. So I'm worried she could get to the airport and then still not give her a seat on the plane. And if that happens, then we're just going to have them cancel that flight and refund it. And I'm going to try to book her on American. If for whatever reason that gets sold out and she can't get on those American flights to New York, we're just going to have to get her on a flight home because I don't know what else to do at that point. Um... She's trying to get there for the 7 p.m. show, uh, Funny Girl, tomorrow, which will really suck if she doesn't make it. And then we have that extra ticket, but mostly it's, you know, important she's safe. But, yeah, there's a lot of anxiety going on right now. But um, she's got an Uber scheduled. She called down and got somebody to um, get a taxi on standby. And she has a ticket. She's got an alarm set for 3 in the morning. So she's got 4 hours, roughly, that she can sleep right now. Not that she's going to get any sleep, because I'm sure she's exhausted and nervous. I mean, she's too nervous to just, like, I don't even know. Anyway, so I'm going to set my alarm for 3 a.m. So that we can just walk her through getting her on the plane tomorrow. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. Anyway, so now I'm going to go read my book that's also given me a lot of anxiety. I'm reading The Last Thing He Told Me. <gasps> it's got me anxious right now. Anyway. You scare me. That's where we are.